lovelies. It's been about exactly a day since I posted my first video ever up on my channel and I have like 106 views. I'm pretty sure half of those are my mom. She says they aren't, but I'm pretty sure they are. So that's great. This is great. This is awesome. Speaking of my mom, today's video is going to be about her birthday present. So she's actually turning 40 in a week and a day. And so for her present, I'm going to do a gigantic drawing of the two of us when I was younger. So I'm just going to be right now looking through her Facebook to find the photo, I guess. So buckle up and hold on to your fucking socks. We definitely have some good contenders here. It was pretty easy to pick which one I'm going to be drawing. So now I'm going to give you a little tidbit on drawing, at least from the one course I took in college. Okay. Oh my god, it's still in my eye. What you want to do when you pick a photo that you're going to be drawing, especially large scale like I'm going to be doing, you want to first make it black and white because you want to be able to see the shadows and everything better. You don't want to do a black and white filter exactly because that'll usually change like the contrast and the shadows up a bit. But what I recommend is just taking all of the color out of the photo because that way there's no shadow wrongness. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's where I'm going to leave that. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. So, now that it's black and white, we are going to print it. Let's see if I know how to work a printer still. Apparently not. It's maintenance. Three weeks later. Mm. So here's the photo that we're going to be using. And so what I'm just going to do is go in and kind of draw like a grid. I'm going to use a ruler. Again, I'm pretty sure we learned these skills in kindergarten, so I'm not going to share that part with you. But yeah, this is how we start. Let's do the damn thing. <laughs> 